Well, welcome back. If you've been watching my uh, videos on putting together the Shore Docker uh, DIY boat ramp, in this video I'm going to add the extension to it. And so that's what we have here. Uh, these boards are 18 inches and they're bolted together and then you have the two ends. So as you can see, uh, that's where they will go. I put, I cut the boards, the cross member boards, and put them down to keep it level. And then these are the boards uh, that will go here and they're 18 inches and then I marked at 9 inches uh, so that I can get them uh, exactly halfway probably could eyeball it and just fine but it didn't take but a second to do it I don't have the bolts uh, to connect the two pieces so what I'm going to do is uh, use some decking screws and then drill the holes and then I've got the bolts ordered and then uh, that way I can just put it together, uh, you know, bolt it together and the deck, deck screws will hold it in place while I uh, drill the holes. So uh, now I'm going to put the pieces on and uh, uh, use decking screws to attach them. I don't know if uh, where you live you have ant beds but we do here and this has nothing to do with my build but uh, Dawn dishwashing soap and water will kill them and there's no specific I think the more you work put in there the better it works battery in it first. Let it mix up. And spray them good. Decided to spray them before I get in them and end up 
getting covered in fire ants. Sure, kill them. Okay, so now I put the extension on. I know they're not square, I just got them lined up. I put boards under it so they'll all be the same height. But what we have to do now is drill four holes in the other side. Um, and then put the braces like this have to go down that one um, and then when I install it at the lake I'll put a 4x4 four four, um, to support that joint as well so let's get on with it I guess okay so now I've got four holes drill through on each side and just for good measure I put a mark on the top so I can see how it matches up because I'm going to separate these two to take it to the lake then I just put an X on the other side um, don't know if you need to do that but that way I know if I match the two symbols together then my holes should line up so now just to square this up and start putting those bottom braces on it okay this is where I am now I put this board uh, the bottom cross member there and I toe nailed it as you can see there on each side so I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it over so that I can screw down but I was thinking this thing's gonna get squirrely and I'm gonna separate you know these two when I carry them to the lake so I'll have two pieces so I put this wasn't required but I put it in there to try to keep it square and keep it in shape so that when I pick it up uh, to put these members in, the cross members in, that it doesn't just get all cattywampus on me. So I put that in and now I'm going to take it apart uh, and flip it over and then I have some more of those boards cut and I'm going to start putting those uh, going across. Uh, Okay, this should pretty much wrap up the build part. Uh, next, we'll be installing it at the lake. But from there to there, 16 feet. My sailboat is 17 feet, so it's going to stick out a little bit more. And then these two will bolt together where those uh, boards are. And then I made it go that far. I didn't brace the end because I'm probably going to cut that off depending upon. Uh, how far in the water. If I need to uh, put some more supports under it, I will. Uh, I have ordered those little metal brackets you see there, so hopefully I'll get those in the next day or two, and then I'll put them on each one of those as well. So, um, yeah, I guess that pretty much wraps it up. I'm going to load this thing on the trailer. Uh, by the way, when I took the two parts together, uh, or took them apart, uh, they were tight in there and so I had a dog of a time trying to get them out so but anyway I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave a comment take care bye
Okay, I've got it loaded on the trailer, uh, both halves. So all I gotta do now is strap it down and take it to the lake. Um, that little gate on the back end, that tailgate comes off. So I'll remove that and then strap it down real good and be ready for install at the lake. Thanks for watching.